let me describe the disc herniation. So there is a disc model. This is the frontal part, your abdomen here, and this is the backside of the spine. So there are two vertebrae here, upper part and lower part. And then in between two vertebrae, there is a gel-like structures, which is the cushion. Um, that's a disc. So disc is following that your pressure distribution. So when you bending forward, when you're bending forward or slouching for a long time, um, lifting up and bending over many times, that's a little pushing your disc uh, back side. Frontal side, it, there's a little strong ligament blocking there. So disc is a little going back when you're bending forward. And then if you're too much motion or um, too much stress on the back side, uh, one day is a little popping up and then we call it bulging disc slip disc and herniated disc and that's touching your nerve structures and a little narrowing the space over there then that's a little make inflammation and that pain usually going down so we call it sciatica pain and then herniated disc pain something like that so yeah that's the basic model and then the principle of herniated disc okay so i'm gonna show you the best exercise for disc herniation so I'm gonna just let you know the basic principle how to make your herniated disc put it back to the normal place. As I told you before, if you are bending forward too much, repetitive movement of bending forward or slouch for a long time, that's pushing your disc backward. So we gotta do opposite. We gotta we gotta bending backward. So can you show me bending uh, backward? Um, cobra motion, prone press up. So when you're bending backward, um, back extension, that's pushing that's pushing your disc uh, forward, so to the, your original position. You can go down, good. So once the pain occurs, uh, one day morning you feel a lot of pain and pain is shooting down to your buttocks or leg, the best exercise initially is just laying down, just laying down, because this motion makes a slight extension, slight extension bending backward motion, and you put your eyes back there to decrease inflammation. Usually there there's a lot of inflammation because the slip disc touch your nerve, nerve system. So you put the eyes over there and just relaxing 10, 15 minutes, several times in a day. And second movement, once you get better, uh, prone uh, elbow motion. So you go up and you blow out and set your back and relax there three to five seconds, 10 repetitions every two, three hours. Go down, good. So once it, that works, your pain is going to the center of your back. So once you felt the below your be, below your leg, below your knee, that going up to your buttocks and going to the center of your back. So that the sign of you are getting better. Once you get better, you're doing um, prone press press up. So go up. So you make a little more extension motion. Push the all the way your disc to the frontal, the forward, the original position. Okay. Same principle. Three to five seconds. Go all the way up and. Blow out, and stay there three to five seconds, 10 repetitions every two, three hours. Good. So pain is gonna go to the center of your back and that's gonna go away.